On this one, I've got all these scratches. I don't want. How am I going to get rid of them? Well, if you're really lucky and got a nice bit of kit, like a 1x30, what you would do is literally grind them out and you end up with whatever grit finish that you've got on there. This being a 120, you'll end up with a satinish sort of look. If you could then get a nice belt grinder that can go to a 400, you can skim it all off at 400. So you blur off all those scratches. But if you haven't got a machine and a range of belts, what you can do is do it by hand. Now, in this pile here, I have a range of wet and dry. And that goes from uh, 240 to 300 to 400 to 600 to 800 to 1000 to 1200 to 1500 to 2000 grit. And I use strips cut across the width on a block of wood with leather on it and just rub it backwards and forwards with a drop of water on it. So what you'll do is you'll progressively scratches 80 grit sandpaper and you'll put on 80 grit scratches. You'll then have an 80 grit finish. Then you'll go to like 150, 240, 320, and gradually, gradually replace the big scratches with smaller ones, and you'll get a finish back. But don't shortcut it. You keep going on the coarser grit until you can't see an ununiform scratch. So if you've got one scratch going through, keep going till that scratch is gone. You're not going to use a finer grit to get rid of the scratch. It's tempting, you get impatient. I know, I've been doing stuff with kids in schools for a decade, and they think, oh, oh I've had enough of this, I'll get it off with the next grit. No, you won't. You'll just, you'll just smooth it out and the scratch will still be there, and you'll remove the scratches from the previous paper, but the big scratch will still be there. So, you use a coarse grit, Sandpaper to green with, this is alright, but if you wet and dry is the idea, have a drop of water and you sort of slick it away. You get rid of the scratches and then once you've got 80 grit scratches everywhere, you go to the 150 and you're getting rid of the 80 grit scratches. Then you get rid of the 150 scratches with a 200 or 240 and a 300 and a 400 and a 600 and an 800 and you can stop at any sort of point above 400 if you're happy with the level of satin finish that you've got but if you go right up to 2000 you get a mirror finish at any point past about 800 ish if you've got a buffer if you've got a buffer you can polish that as it is but you said you did a swiss army knife i wouldn't put a swiss army knife on a buffer because it's a non-locking blade and i'm without super instruction i don't know which way around you're presenting it to the wheel and it couldn't thing end up on locking into your fingers so I would just suggest that you keep going I wouldn't know that you've got the range of um, wet and dry so PM me your address Jake Berry PM me your address I'll cut your little postage stamp of each one just enough to get your two fingers on like that do your Swiss Army knife and I'll give you a range of wet and dry right up to 2000 Got on Wessex blades on how to get rid of scratches on a blade. See you on the next one.